Morning, this is Gracie Opulenza and I'm all about eccentric and opulent lifestyle. You can find out a lot more about me on my um, blog, gracieopulenza.com. You can find everything about Koh Samui, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, and I'm here in Tuscany, in Italy. If you put that in my blog, you'll find everything about that as well. Umbria, Rome, just been all there very recently. And today this is about my third IKEA kitchen that I have installed in the last year. That's correct. I'm in a beautiful Tuscan stone house here in Tuscany. And in Europe, if you don't know, kitchens majority of the time do not come with additional storage cupboards just going to show you here that was originally what I had to put up with for a month so to give you a recap if you look on my YouTube put in IKEA kitchen you'll see the Bodarp disaster which was green Bodarp disaster should take it off the market really hard to clean you can check that out upcycled plastic material have a look at that then I changed it to the bamboo doors bamboo doors which are fantastic easy to clean you don't see the marks and easy to clean don't see the marks easy to clean so today is about now my third kitchen which you can start seeing the marks already kitchen that you're Doors that you're seeing are from Ste Sund, Ikea, light green. Light green, Ste Sund, don't worry, the link is below. The link by my bow dark green kitchen is below and the link for my bamboo kitchen is below. All from Ikea in exactly, ironically, the last year. So this time last year, I installed a bow dark kitchen in Koh Samui, Thailand. Then I had, after one week due to damage and really hard to clean, I switched to bamboo doors and they're fantastic. So this is my third kitchen in a year. Ironically, I've gone for green again. Green on a fashion front, on a Bentley car front is popular this year. Sage green, light green, olive green. And I live actually on an olive farm estate this was my inspiration here for my stone house in Tuscany I thought let me go for a cottage style effect let me go for the olive green inspiration the, you can find out on olive oil and olive tree on my blog as well back to here Stesund I've gone for a cottage effect here in Europe, you do not get storage for your kitchen. So if you're going to, on, on rental property, you have to install your kitchen. So this is beautiful common Tuscany roof. Now it doesn't match this at all, but I just wanted to keep it green. But I thought, you know what, let me go for an eclectic vibe, a mishmash of things. What I love about the green is it's light green. It gives a cottage effect. I've also gone for the handles as well. At Ikea, you can choose your handles. So I wanted to keep in, in uh, sync with the cottage vibe. I'll put the link to the handles. They're plasticky. Again, this kitchen is literally not even 10 days old. So I've woken up and I thought, oh no. Not the bowed up problem. Now the bowed up, which you can have a look on my YouTube, is all about the doors that were easily damaged after a few days and olive oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil was, was impossible to get. These are marks. I've not cleaned this yet. I've used it for a week. First of all, the doors are not damaged. So it's very robust. Phew. So I, the door durabilities are fantastic. The boat up, they were really damaged. So just to give you an idea, 
I'm not gentle on my kitchens, so you can see they're not damaged at all, which is fantastic. I'll talk about my drawer and my design of how much ample of storage space. Now, the reason I went for the IKEA kitchen again in this Tuscan rental, there is no storage and I wanted maximum storage. Just to go and all that, that can go in my kitchen, but I choose to keep it there for the moment. Just a kitchen is like wearing in a pair of new shoes. You've got to get used to it. Clearly the, kit, the fridge is too small, but that's not the issue here. What it is, I went for maximum storage and boy did I get it. But first of all, we want to talk about the light green Stessund doors, cottage effect. It's got a 25 year guarantee, which is phenomenal, which is great. Now, on the IKEA description, it says it's easy to clean. One wipe and easy to clean. So I'm just going to film. This is a clean cloth. I've just wiped it with water. Look at that. Right. Oh, clean cloth. Going to change that sink as well to a big kit, uh, sink like I have in Koh Samui, Thailand. Black is the new silver. And those big tub sinks but the problem is ikea measurement to this and this is all solid cement so it's finding that what big whole tub sink where you can just throw your, your dishes in before your dishwasher right it says here on the ikea can you see those marks one wipe and it'll clean i've gone for the description Let's see, the boat up was impossible. And this, let's have a look. Okay, I wouldn't say it's one wipe, but I can instantly see, oh my goodness, I mean, the panic in my heart just doing this for the first time. Mm, let's have a look. I'm not a person that likes chemicals too much. Let's have a look. Yeah, that wiped. Oh my goodness, I'm impressed. Don't go for that bow up. Have a look at the video. Coconut, olive oil, sunflower. Now, I have, obviously, olive oil in uh, here. I'm on an olive oil state. Let's have a look. Ooh, I can still see the marks. Hmm, oh no. Let's have a look. The last thing I want to do is be returning the doors. Can I tell you, oh my goodness, why didn't I read the reviews? I got lost once again in design. I would have went for the bamboo again, but I went for green, for olive green. Because the bamboo doors are fantastic. Let's have a look. Let's dry it with a tea towel, a clean tea towel. I'm just going to dry it with a clean tea towel because I can... Ah, that's the key, is it, that damage? Well, it's got 25 years. If this is damaged after a week, it's going back. And as long as you've got your receipt, no, that's just, I uh, wonder what that is. Not happy with that, not happy with that. Okay, let me have a look, let me go back. Hmm. What do we think? Let me take a closer look. Like with the bamboo, you don't have this at all. wonder what that is. Let me, can you see? I can see it's little marks here. But let me just see. But unless you're pedantic, but for me, a good quality kitchen, the doors should wipe easily. So it's not as easy as the bamboo doors, which I highly recommend. But... So, light green, Stissum Kitchen, the link's below. It says, easy to clean. I wouldn't say it's easy because I can still see the marks. But there's nothing like that bowed up. On a damage and durability after 10 days, I'm very happy with it so far. There's no damage. I will be doing another video in um, four weeks' time. Let's have a look. Just pedantic about these marks here and what they are. But where I wiped, 
Let's just be, let's wipe it again. Clean cloth, wet. So I've wiped it again. I'm going to do it with this, which I'm not happy about. But, you know, I guess cleaning's cleaning. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, these are marks here that are not coming off. And I wonder if that's olive oil. Hmm, damn it. I've, I've been, I'm a donkey. I mean, I've just gone through this at the Bodarp in, in Ikea, Koh Samui. Have I, I look, can you see the marks? Can you see the marks there? That's not coming off. That's, in, that's disappointing. That's not good enough. I'll try it again. Let me get, I'm going to get an um, uh, all-purpose cleaner. I've just sprayed it with an all-purpose wipe. It's the oil stains that you've got to be aware of. And, you know, you don't want... God, can you imagine what it'll look like after a month, like the bow up, let alone a year? Like, OK, let's have a look. Let's step back. I think, no, I can still see the deep olive oil stains in there. Just to give you, oh, there's more here. Can you see all that? That's just olive oil. Let's have a look. Oh, wiping that away. Just, let's have a look. It wipes. A lot easier, but let me see what other bit. So I've used warm water now. I've used an all-purpose cleaner. It's not coming off. Do I have to go through this again? It's got a 25-year guarantee with IKEA. If you're not happy with it, you can return it. But we are in IKEA, Italy. Have a look on my YouTube, and I'm going to put a link. Um, I'm not so sure how easy it is, but it is IKEA. Sweden, so it's under that umbrella. Let's have a look. I can see the. I'm just trying to work out what that that is. That's oil. It's a stain, and from a distance, you can see it. It's not good enough. I'm not happy with it, but I'll keep wiping with maybe water and salt. But it shouldn't be this difficult. It should not leave stains at all. I, I, not at this level. It will look terrible. It already does when I'm, I want it just white. The bamboo doors are fantastic. I don't have this problem at all, even when I'm cleaning it. The Bodab, green kitchen, have a look at that. <coughs> Stay clear away from it. This one, <coughs> yes. I'm just finding stains let's have a look this is just warm water as far as i'm concerned a good kitchen door material should be easy to clean <coughs> i've gone for the hot water simple hot water again let's see if it comes off Have a look here. It's much better than the bow dart. There's no doubt about that. But do I have to clean it a few times for it to come off? Let's have a look. That come. Yep. Uh, yes. Let's have a look. Yeah, I can still see the marks on this panel bit here. Oh no, I'm a donkey, I've been here before, I went for the look, thought this will look great in my Tuscan stone house, but of course us women go for the look. Why didn't I read the reviews? I just got caught up in the moment again as we do. Let's have a look, see that's olive oil, I, I'm on an olive oil state. I use olive oil, coconut oil, and high quality as well. Am I being pedantic? Share your thoughts. What do you think? The durability is great. Let me have it show you. So here in Europe, you've you've got to bring your in and bring in your own kitchen. 
All right. So ample and ample of storage. For me, the key here was storage, lots of shelving. And I'm a big fan of the drawers. Look at, just look at that storage. Lots and lots and lots of storage. I need it. So that's why I didn't go for a, an antique freestanding storage kitchen, okay? Bamboo, which is fantastic. These are the drawers, soft closing drawers, which is fantastic. Love that. I'll close this. Same with the doors. Watch. This kitchen is roughly 1200 euro. Here my pots. Bamboo, fantastic, watch. And um, these are little damage preventing stops. But look at this. I need to put one here because this is damaging that. This is after one week. Hey dear, that's not good. I'll, I'll hands up. I'll blame ourselves for that. I do have one. I'll put that ASAP and then soft closing door. Here, deep drawers. Older. Gosh, I haven't got much in there. I need to start stacking it up. Okay, I've got a mark here. Let's have a look. Let's see how it cleans. That is watermelon. I know. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, easy to wipe. What about the handles? Again, they're just new. Oh, we've got another drawer there. But, interesting, that one doesn't hit. Maybe that's on us. There. I love, love drawers. Look, I could have went all the drawers. You can design your own kitchen. But um, here in Europe, you've got to install your own kitchen in a rental. And my thinking is that when uh, we move out, then someone may just buy it and you may get some of your money back. Or you take it off and you sell it but I don't know after four years the durability of this uh, this kitchen and its state and what it's going to look like. Ample of storage which is fantastic. My concern is the marks that I can still see here. I've used hot water, hot water and salt and just a normal cleansing spray and it's it's nothing like the bamboo doors that I have, they are fantastic. You don't see this. It is a high gloss, susceptible, I guess, for this look. It's a risk you take. If you're going to be pedantic, then that's down to you. Share your thoughts. Have you got this kitchen? Let me know how happy you're with it. I'm very happy with the durability, the way it looks, including the handles. Again, they're just plastic. But, you know, but what I'm not happy with is that my olive oil stains can still be seen here. And to me, that's not good enough. I'm going to do another video and see what else I can use to eliminate that. The watermelon came off easy. Watermelon, probably from the fridge, splashing on there. Kitchens should be high-wearing, durable, robust and should look as they are sold online or in Ikea. Thank you very much.